I'm gonna start with my good leg. Try to use your good leg, your dominant side first, if you're getting the hang of it. All I'm gonna do is five jumps. So I'm gonna pause on each hash mark here. Okay, so I'm right here. Okay, and you'll notice All right guys, so for this hop, I wanna start with my knee right over my pinky toe, okay? From there, I'm gonna lift the back foot up, just kinda let it hang. Again, all the weight's on my front leg. I'm gonna use both arms for this one. So as I went up, my arms came up, and as I came down, my arms came down. And you'll see my knee is over my pinky toe as I land. single response quick stick I'll go one more Okay, so now we're going lateral bounds. Still one leg, now you're jumping from one leg to the other. You should be able to jump a little bit further with this kind of jump. That's why we're doing this one next, next step in the progression, okay? We're gonna do the same thing, pauses all the way through to start. So pick a side, doesn't matter which side. I like to start on my non-dominant side just to kind of trick myself a little bit on these pauses. I'm here, quick, oop, not a good start. All right, guys, so now we're going to do that lateral bound with what I call a single response, okay? So you're going to land on one side of the, of the line, and you're going to come off the ground quickly on the other side of the line. I'm trying to get off the ground as quick as I can here. Quick. Quick stick. All right, guys, now we're going to put the hops and bounds together. Okay, I want you guys to actually think about the pausing that you did on the first rep of each of those as well, okay? We're gonna pause every single time we get to a cone here. This is a very coordinated drill. Take your time through it. I'm now going to go over to the other side one more time here. You guys are going to do it two times. All right, guys, so now we're going to go back to that single response concept. Hop, single response, bound. All right, everybody, we are doing straight ahead speed today. Couple different things. We're doing four progressions, and we're also taking it 15 yards today. So I have it marked out. You'll see it, I'm on the football field, 15 yards worth. The first series is gonna be a single leg RDL. So let me set it up, and then I'll do a rep for you on my right, left leg, and then you're gonna pause, repeat on your own. This back leg swing, punch down, launch out of it. That's it. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna do this one on my left leg. Do it with me. We'll walk back nice and slow, and then we'll do our right leg together. Here it is. So here's a couple things that you need to focus on. On your down leg, you have a little bit of a knee bend. You're also leaning over that down leg. Get your back to be straight, kind of like a tabletop, all right? So you don't want to see any rounding of your back.
All right, guys, now we're doing the same type of drill. It's a single leg RDL sprint, but it's going to be lateral. So the setup's got to be almost identical. It is identical where you're on one leg. That leg has a little knee bend. You're rotated to that leg a little bit. Your um, back remains flat, okay, as my leg is extended back. I'm going to swing the leg through and then push off and drive into my lateral sprint. All right, good stuff. If you're with me, you're gonna now pause the video, do two more on your right leg, and then two more on your left leg. You got four more reps, then you'll join me for the next sequence, okay? So pause it now, and then rejoin me. All right, here we go. Next one. I'm gonna use a cone. You could use a line, it doesn't really matter. But now I'm going side to side bounding, and then I'm gonna land on my right leg, sprint go off my right leg. As many reps as you want, you'll just hit a couple, be in rhythm, and I'm gonna land on my right leg, push off through, okay? This one, I'm only gonna do right leg one time. You're gonna end up doing two on each side. You're gonna do two off of, boom, your right leg, and boom, two off your left leg. Okay, so let me just show you one rep right now. Here we go. Again, now when I explode it off my right leg, one more on that side and then two off your left. Pause it right now and then you're gonna rejoin me for the last one of the day for speed development. All right, here we go. Last one. I'm gonna use the right, I'm gonna use the line. I'm gonna get some hop, some bounding rather, bound, bound, plant, launch out of it. Here we go. Hey, good work, good work. Again, that was off my left leg explosion. You're doing one more, then you're flipping it, and you're going two off your right leg, right leg explode. Okay, and that's your speed development for today. All right, guys, welcome to your change of direction section for today. Um, we have a little bit of a different pattern out here. All you're gonna need is six cones, essentially, or six markers. Um, I used the soccer lines on the field here, and then the, the end line for football. Okay, so about, say about 10 yards here, and then about five yards in between. Um, so when you go through this pattern, you'll notice that each corner is a different color, or sorry, opposite corners are the same color, so this corner, and then that cone over there, is orange and then over here is yellow and over there is yellow okay so those are going to be your starting and ending points for every exercise today okay um, the movement or the direction you're going will change a little bit as we go okay so the first one i'm going to work off of is just the orange cone so you guys can visualize the middle cones are orange they're going to be used the same way for each one but we're gonna start on this orange and finish on that orange. You'll always be going with four cones, okay? So I'm gonna go from this cone to that cone, to that cone, to that cone. One, two, three, four, okay? So if you're a football player, it's a chair, okay? We're gonna go sprint, shuffle, sprint for the first one, okay? Here we go. All 
All right, guys, so now I'm gonna switch over to the other side. We're gonna do the chair pattern again. Now again, we're always gonna use those middle orange cones, but now we're going yellow as my start point, yellow as my finish point, okay? So sprint, shuffle, sprint through that chair pattern. All right, guys, you're gonna do that exact variation one more time on each side, okay? Pause the video, one more on each side. And now we're gonna use that same pattern, but we're gonna go sprint all the way through. So if you're a football player, imagine running the route, okay? The biggest thing here, do not round your edges, okay? I want sharp cuts on every single cone that you go to, okay? So again, same pattern, now we're sprinting all the way through, remove the shuffle. All right, guys, now shifting over to the other side. Again, chair pattern, we're just going the opposite way. Sharp cut every time, sharp cut. All right, guys, same deal. One more on each side, pause the video, and we'll get into our last variation. All right, guys, last drill. It's not gonna be a chair anymore, but we're still gonna follow those same rules. I'm going orange cone to that corner orange cone, but now we're gonna zigzag it, okay? So I'm gonna go sprint to that cone, I'm gonna shuffle to this cone, and I'm gonna sprint to the orange, okay? So it's gonna look like this. So I'm going that direction. Same thing, coming over to the other side. So again, starting on yellow, finishing on yellow. I'm now starting diagonally. All right guys, very last drill, same deal. I'm only gonna demo one for you, okay? I'm going sprint all the way to that cone, sprint all the way to this cone. Sprint all the way through that orange in the corner. You've got two reps each here, and then you're done. Okay, here we go. So again, guys, just to review, I did one sprint, sprint, sprint. You're gonna do one more on that side, and then you got two more from that side. Sprint, sprint, sprint. That's all I got for you today, guys. Hope you liked it.